Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to determine the slope of a line using slope triangle. By definition, slope or gradient of a line, usually represented as letter M, is a number that describes both the direction and the steepness of the line. So how do we determine the slope? In this video, we're going to use slope triangle. By definition, slope triangle is an imaginary triangle that helps you find the slope of a line. The two legs of the triangle are the rise and the run, which are actually used in the formula for the slope of a line. So we remember that the formula for slope, again, slope is represented as letter M, is actually equal to rise over run. To better understand this formula that we have right here, let's have this example. So we are given a line and we are given this two points. So we're supposed to determine the slope of this line. We remember that the formula for slope is again rise over run. So I'll give you a trick. If you are given two points, you have to pick the lower point point you compare between these two points the lower point is this point right here and we are supposed to create a triangle so from this lower point we are supposed to go to the other point so how do we do that we are supposed to rise or we go up so i'm going to create this uh, path right here so i went up and then from here the reason why i stopped here because i again the purpose here is to get to the next dot. So I went up and then I go, so it's pretty much just rise right there. So I go up and then I run. So I go to the right to get to the other dot. So I am able to get to the other dot here. So I rise over run. So in this case right here, we can determine the value. So we're supposed to determine how many steps did I go up. Let's rise. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So I went six up. So I'm going to have that as positive six. The reason why it's positive because um, I went up and then I go to the right. One, two, three, four steps. So that is positive because I went to the right. So that's pretty much positive six over positive four because remember this is rise so i can label that um down here that's rise i went up and this is run so then we can go ahead and say that our slope so again slope is represented as letter m is actually equal to so in this case right here i went up six over Four. So that's 6 over 4. And then I can go ahead and simplify this. Both 6 and 4 goes with 2. So then we can simplify the slope here. M is actually 3 halves. And this is the slope of this line. Okay, now what happens if in some cases we are not given the dot? So in this line right here, we don't have two dots unlike the first example. So how do we determine the slope? Again, the formula for slope is rise over run. So if in any case there are no points given to us, we are supposed to determine this points. And so it's easy to determine the slope. We're supposed to pick the lattice point. What are lattice points? Lattice point is a point in the Cartesian coordinate system where its x and y coordinates are integer. So what are we going to do is we are going to trace the line and we'll look for lattice points. So this can be a lot. This is a lattice point right here because that's an integer negative two and five. So if you put a dot right here, that's not a lattice point. So this is another lattice point. This is another lattice point right here. So we get more. So we get more right here. So these are what we call as the lattice points. So if in any case we are not given points, we look for lattice points. And so we only need two lattice points here. So we don't really need all of these. So we can pick actually two. Now others are going to say, which one do we pick? Does it really matter? It doesn't matter. Because we remember that the slope of 
a line remains the same along the line. So the slope will be the same no matter what point we pick. So we can, let's say we pick this point right here, and then we pick this po other point right here. So we go up, remember we rise over run. So we're picking the um, we're picking the lower point. So this two point right here. So we start from the lower point, then we rise, we go up, and then we go to the other point. So we count how many steps we did. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a six, and it's positive because we went up. And then from this corner right here, we went to the left, one, two, three. So that is a negative three. The reason why this is negative three, it's because we went to the left. So if you go left, that's negative. So that we can go ahead and say that our um, slope for this, which is again represented as letter M is equal to rise, how many steps we went up. So that's six over that's gonna be a uh, run is negative three so that we can go ahead and simplify this our m is actually six divided by negative three is negative two so this is the slope of this um line right here now others are going to say oh what happens if we picked a different um number here i did not pick this dot and i did not pick this dot now let's pick the uh this dot and this other dot right here so it's pretty much the same thing we have to um use the uh slope triangle we create a triangle again we're using these two dots here let's see if their values would be the same so i go up and then I go run this way, so that is the slope triangle right there. So then we can go ahead and say that we went up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I went up ten. So I'm using blue for the other slope triangle, and then we went to the uh, left one, two, three, four, five. So that would be a negative five. So that we can plug this into the formula for slope. So that would be slope. Again, it's represented as uh, letter M. So that is rise. So I went 10 over, I went to the left 5. So that's negative 5. So the slope is still negative 2. Again, we remember that the slope of a line remains the same along the line. So it doesn't matter which point you pick, the slope would still be the same. Now let's take this next example right here. We are supposed to determine the slope of this given line. So again, the formula for slope is rise over run. So then we can go ahead and say that from this point, since we're given the point already, we go up, rise, and we run. So let's count how many um, steps do we go up, so that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we went up eight. Now, are we running or do we go left and right from there? No. So how do we write the slope? So in this case right here, I can go ahead and represent this as slope. Again, represented as letter M is equal to I went up, rise eight, and then I run um, zero. So then we can go ahead and say that if we have um, 8 divided by 0, then this becomes undefined. So I'm just going to write the word here, undefined. We remember that the slope of any vertical line is always undefined. So in this case right here, this is a vertical line. So the slope here is undefined. Now let's try this next example right here. So we're supposed to determine the slope of this line. So this time around, it's a horizontal line. Again, we remember that the formula for slope is rise over run. So in this case right here, we don't have points. So we can actually uh, locate the lattice point. Again, remember, lattice point is a point on the Cartesian coordinate system where it's X and Y coordinates are integers. So we can pick this as our point 
and this is another point right here. We can pick any of the points, it doesn't matter. So what are we gonna do is we go up, we rise. So in this case right here, there's no way that we can go up. So then we can go ahead and write the formula for slope here, which is again represented as letter M, and that is equal to rise over run. So we did not go up. There was no way for us to go up to go to the next dot. So the rise here is zero over the run here would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we run um, positive seven because we started from the uh, left to the right. So that would be a positive seven that we write here. So zero divided by seven is a zero. So the slope for this is zero. Now we remember that the slope of a horizontal line is always zero. So whenever we see a horizontal line, the slope is automatic zero. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!